Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. Now we've seen grid views before, but what if you wanted a bit more of a fancier grid view? Something that looks a little bit more staggered like this. Now I think this looks really nice and so let me show you how to do this by jumping into the code. This tutorial is sponsored by Rotato. Now I get a lot of questions about how I show off my apps in a cool way in my intros and it's through the help of a software called Rotato. They have pretty much every device you can think of to use as a mock-up and my favourite part is the ability to control the motion to make it swivel and rotate in any way you can imagine. So make sure to use the code Mitch at the checkout to get a little discount. And thanks Rotato for sponsoring this video. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page in my main function I'm running my app which brings us to this scaffold and if I just come over here I've already prepared some images and I have it in this folder so you can go to the internet grab whatever images you have uh, try to make sure that the height like the aspect ratio is kind of different and so I've got my project let's open up the library and just drag the images folder in the library cool so let's come back to the project and make sure to tell it that we are going to import some assets so in your popspec.yaml let's scroll down and go to your assets and just comment this out and let's say library slash images and save it cool so this is the images folder now i'll link the package below it's called Flutter Staggered Grid View. And copy this. And let's go to the PopSpec YAML again. And we're going to import this package. So if you actually look at this closely, you can see there's a few different styles you can go for. But I'm going to show you in this video the masonry. So usually we've used so many grid views before on this channel. And so it's very similar to a grid view, except we can now just say masonry grid view. And then now we can import it. And then we've got the builder. So the builder, let's go sliver simple grid delegate with fixed cross axis count. Cross axis count, this should be similar to our normal regular grid views. And for this one, I'm just gonna have a two cross axis count, meaning I want two columns. Okay, let's see if I print some blue containers. Now let's actually give some padding. Okay, so we have 200 for the height. They're all the same containers, so we can't really see the staggered effect. So now let's bring in the image. So the way I named the file is in the images folder. It's image one through to six. Okay, so let's just separate this out. And the index is going to start from zero. So let's add one to that number and convert it to a string. So this should start from one to six. And if I save it, you can see there it is. Sweet, sweet. So all of the images, despite the aspect ratio, it's just kind of seamlessly fits in together. And yeah, so if you change this cross axis count to three, like I said, that's how many columns you want. Cool, now one little tip is you can wrap your image with a clip R rect. And this one is good for just clipping the border radius just to make it curved. And that's it. If you've used grid views before or even list views, you can see it's very similar to that. And there's other styles. There's not just Mason grid view. There's another few styles. So you can check it out. If you made it this far in the tutorial, drop me a purple heart in the comment. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.